you saw me repaint this first curl that I'm going to show you and this time I decided to do something a little bit different usually I show you these dolls naked um, because they're going to be uh, finished or dressed by my friend Jana who makes uh, these traditional Bulgarian dolls so I just show them show you the face down and that's it but I decided to dress them up a little bit this time and uh, hide their bad hair because their hair will be hidden in their final form because traditionally uh, Bulgarian women wore uh, head coverings it wasn't it was just a part of the attire you know it wasn't forbidden to show your hair or something of that sort but it had um, cultural significance of uh, you know different ages wore different headdresses and stuff like that it was uh, an accessory and so on and so on so uh, I decided to give them hats and stuff to hide the bad hair so it doesn't take away from my repaint and um, here is this girl that you just saw I gave her a cute hat and a little dress because <laughs> her legs yeah uh, they won't be visible because traditionally they weren't visible you know they wore uh, socks and long skirts and stuff like that so uh, the only thing that will be basically visible are her hands and her face and you know a little bit of the hair like that and I think it's pretty charming and uh, yeah i think is it perfect no um do we have a little bit of i wonk yes yes we have uh but oh <laughs> here okay i zoomed in but i still think there is something very charming about her <laughs> the fluffs aren't charming but remember i have cats uh yeah yeah i think i think this is a pretty cute shot and i will be taking screenshots off of this because my camera catches my repaints the best on video on pictures it takes away from them it loses detail and i just want to show you the detail so <laughs> i will be taking screenshots off of this for my instagram and by the way if you want to see more pictures of my dolls these dolls all of the dolls i have on instagram where you can check out and while we are at it if you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing if you like her subscribe for her okay <laughs> thank you and if you are subscribed you're awesome i just want you to know that and let's continue with her uh yeah overall this is her finished look she will have a finished finished look because as i said I will uh, now send her to my friend and my friend will dress her in traditional Bulgarian outfit and uh, yeah yeah uh, overall this is what happens to these dolls it's like a series on my channel that I have and let me <laughs> stop talking and show you the next repaint
she is dumb and I dress this one in something very interesting. Uh, I don't know if you remember it. I had done this bodysuit inspired by uh, Star Wars, by Padme Amidawa, by the... I am getting very nerdy here, so brace yourself, by the Clone Wars, the original Clone Wars cartoon that first aired on Cartoon Network. It was a two-dimensional cartoon. <laughs> yeah, this one. Uh, there was uh, an episode where Padme was with Yoda. Padme Amidawa is who I mean from Star Wars. Uh, was on a nice planet with uh, Master Yoda and there was like an entire plot there. Something happening, obviously. But she was dressed in something like that, something white. Uh, only her face was visible and she had a cloak. And I made this inspired by that, uh, but uh, <laughs> I decided to dress her up in it because she has really bad hair. And as I said already, the bad hair is taking away from my repaint. And at first I was going to give her like a headdress or something just made out of paper to imitate something similar to what my friend will do for her. Uh, finally, you know, to finish her look. But I remember that I have this and uh, she has almost no hair. So, uh, you know, this little outfit doesn't have space for the hair to come out. So only those without hair can really uh, wear it. And uh, yeah, <laughs> she has almost no hair. And I am very happy with this one too. She turned out, you know, older and very natural looking like she has no makeup on or at least almost you know no makeup on maybe a little bit of eyeliner maybe she just like has uh, naturally dark eyelashes let's let's do a little shot like that i think this is better it's clearer and yeah overall <laughs> I wanted, you know, I try these characters to be natural looking because they're going to be historical, traditional women, but also to make them beautiful and different from one another. And you're gonna be the judge if uh, that I am successful at that, but uh, I think this is the closest I can do to achieve that, you know, with my current skill, but also by doing them I level up <laughs> I level up my skills so yeah if you are one of my regulars on the channel and you have seen my other videos tell me do you think am I getting better or <laughs> worse which you know if you have something negative to say it's welcome to say of course of course like I, I'm not here uh, for people to tell me that I am the best and uh, I'm done you know I want real feedback, so tell me what you think about her and about this girly and uh, do you like the idea with the hats and, uh, you know, the hoods and stuff like that. I think it's a cute idea and I think it's a plus for them because, yeah, the bad hairstyles really take away <laughs> from their faces and... Yeah, these are my two newest girlies that I repainted and after this video I will be packing them and sending them to my friends so uh, they can continue to become even prettier because uh, once they are dressed in the beautiful traditional wear they are going to be 10 times better than what they are now and also I don't know if I mentioned it but this is a great way to upcycle uh, old dolls that nobody needs. You can't give them to a child to play because they're just too damaged. And uh, making an art doll from an old broken doll, I think, is something amazing. And uh, she becomes a piece of art, you know. She's not gonna go in the landfill. She's going to represent my country, represent my history. And she's gonna be a little piece of art that will sit in someone's home and 
hopefully make them happy. So <laughs> it's a very positive experience, I think. And thank you for being a part of it. And thank you for joining me for my little repaint video. I do plan on doing more roots, more uh, sewing handmade stuff. Uh, I have started another repaint while I was finishing this one. I saw another doll that I wanted to uh, give face and stuff. And uh, she's also gonna be like a more complete one of a kind doll because uh, I know that other channels usually show uh, repainting and making an outfit and you know creating like a complete character and what I usually do is either just sew for a doll and dress a doll that I already have in a new outfit or repaint a doll and just that you know dress her in something that I already have but uh, this uh, other project that I'm working on is going to uh, be a complete character so she's taking a little bit longer but hopefully that will be for the best and uh, yeah i also have a lot of shorts that i'm uploading on the channel these days i don't know i just realized that my phone the software on my phone makes this little uh story collages of the pictures that i take and usually i upload the pictures that i take a lot of them well, all of them but i take a lot of pictures is what i meant i upload them on Instagram uh, and you know that's that's it but uh, I realized that I can also share them here with you through shorts and through you know little colleges uh, videos using the photos also tell me what you think about that I think that a lot of you like them because I get a lot of comments on them from you guys and you really like them which makes me happy because yeah, I take these pictures because I want to show my dolls to people and uh, what I do with them. So I think it's a win-win situation, but uh, you can let me know in the comments. You can also tell me which one of these girlies you like more or do you like my previous repaint more that I recently uploaded. And uh, come back within a day or two for another short and my next repaint. And hopefully for some dolly unboxings maybe next month <laughs> or maybe you know i'll find something a good price oh i also have a very special grail doll coming but i'm not gonna tell you about that now it's gonna be a surprise and yeah i think i'm done <laughs> talking thank you so much for listening to me and i'll see you in the comments and on the next one bye for now